Hi everyone, Denise Hahn here for Xyron and this week Xyron's teaming up with Coordinations and I was really excited to get this product because I haven't really used a lot of Coordinations um, before and so I find when I have a brand new product that I'm not really familiar with or haven't used a lot, I like to go straight to the packaging and just do whatever kind of project is um, on the back just to get you started and then after you start using it like your wheels start spinning you start think of more creative and unique ways to use it which is exactly what happened um, using these coordinations I've just fallen in love so the project we're going to do today is this card um, I've included the sketch for it on my blog post I'll put the information down at the bottom of the video and um, this has some of my favorite um, tricks and techniques using Xyron, so make sure you uh, watch through the whole video. It has a lot of great fun ideas in it. So let's go off to the craft room. Hi everyone, Denise Hahn here with Xyron, and today Xyron's um, teaming up with Coordinations. Um, they make some amazing products, including the one I'm using today, which is called Black Magic. I love getting uh, new projects to play with and Coordinations I've never really used before, and I gotta say, I'm in love. I'm a fan. So many fun things to do. And when I'm experimenting with a new product, something I haven't used before, I like to sort of keep the project simple. So I um, came up with a sketch of a card and uh, went from there. And I'm gonna take you step by step through making this card and um, show you a lot of, of my favorite Xyron tricks that I use with my machines and some new ones that I learned with my coordinations. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've already pretty much cut out my components for my card um, and one of my first tips is if you're not usually a card maker, um, try using some base um, card stock to build off of. Um, this is Recollections Corrugated Cards. It comes with a really nice envelope and it sort of gives me a basis to work off and I really like um, the heaviness of it. So that's our base. So the first thing I did is I ran um, some of the Black Magic through my embossing machine. I used my Creatopia, which has a great attachment, which fits, you know, every die cut known to mankind. And oh, here it is. This is the um, Spellbinders Embossabilities folder that I used and just ran it through. And then I cut it, this card stock, card base is five and a half by five and a half, and I cut it to five by five. And now here's where the magic comes in. So this card stock has a color on the other side and it gets exposed when you hit it with the sanding block. I mean, how fun is that? So when I first did this, I was like, and I went literally right through the paper. Um, I got a little too excited. So I've learned to um, take it easy. <laughs> Don't get too crazy or else you'll do what I did and go right through it. So as you can see, it's really beautifully exposing um, the blue paper from the back. And I'm also going to go ahead and hit the edges a little harder on this. I like my edges to stand out. So instead of like inking, you would be, you know, just taking away. And as you can see, this is generating a little dust here, but not to worry. Um, the sanding block comes with a dust remover paper. It's got some magic something on it. I don't know. That picks up all, this, all the paper dust for you. So there's my back base, and I'm going to go ahead and attach it using my Mega Runner. Okay, we're all set, ready for the next step. Now the next step, um, I'm going to be attaching my ribbon. So you're like, Denise, how did you come up with yellow and orange ribbon to use with blue cardstock? Well, if you don't have a color wheel, you need to get one. Go on to... Google and search for color wheel or sometimes you can get them at art stores and um, right across from teal is orange and yellow so that's how I like to pick my coordinating trims by going opposite the color wheel. So now I have this wonderful 
um, slice of Mayart ribbon, this nice grow grain ribbon, and I'm gonna put it through my two and a half inch create a sticker. And let me tell you, for doing a nice um, wide piece of ribbon like this, you just really can't be using a create a sticker. Okay. All right, you just run it through like that. And as you can see, it's evenly dispersed glue along or adhesive along the back. I ran off the edge a little because I was kind of doing it in a hurry. So just make sure you're lining up your ribbon, but it's not that far off and it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that off. And I remember that I want this kind of about right there. I don't want it to go over that. I need an extra hand. All right, so I'm just gonna go across like that. And then I'm gonna flip my card over. And I'm gonna bring over my ribbon. And you'll notice it was a little wrinkled at the end, but that completely goes away once you um, put your ribbon over the top and then just bring the next piece over the top. Perfect. All right. So now um, this is also a piece of coordinations and for this die cut, I used the Spellbound, Spellbinders Nest Abilities. Um, this is the Delightful Circles. And I cut this one out and this one does not, this one has a white core. So as opposed to the Black Magic, so when I sand on this one, you can see it's exposing white. Can you see that? There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this whole thing with my sanding block. Um, the sanding block comes with little like Velcro attachments. So, you know, if I got the bigger one, I could probably do this a little faster, but I like using a little edge. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the high spots on this all over, especially around the edges. Okay, and now I'm ready to add this part on. And to add this on, I'm going to be using my five inch creative station. So go ahead and put it in there and run it through. Now, another little tip I have when I'm doing lacy things and running it through the creative station, I won't push it down because I don't want adhesive to come up through these inner circles and if you don't press it down and lift it carefully there's less like cleanup to do um, in some of these little circles. But fact of the matter is one of the tricks I'm going to show you, I'm going to go ahead and emboss this down to try and get as much of that adhesive in there as I can. Okay, so now you'll notice when I peel this off, it's going to still have some of that adhesive. Do you see it? Yeah. Awesome. So at first this sort of perplexed me, but then I used it to my advantage, started using it to my advantage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just stick that on like so. And now to sort of enhance my card and pick up some of that adhesive, I'm going to go ahead and use some ultra fine transparent um, glitter. This one's not transparent. This one is transparent. This is not the one I wanted to use. Oh, this is. Okay, so this is art glitter. It's called Lion's Mane. And for this process, I use, like to use the transparent, which means it's um, you can see through the glitter rather than an opaque one where it's um, a solid glitter. And I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some of that on. And this um, glitter is, again, the opposite color wheel of the blue. Kind of tap it around 
All right. And then boom, look at that. Isn't that awesome? I love how that looks. It's a great trick. It's a great way to hide any extra little adhesive and enhance your card. Okay, so my next step is my next little um, die cut, which I used making the shapes using um, my Creatopia shapes. Um, I love these. This is my one of my favorite dies. So I cut a little one out, and again, I'm going to go ahead and hit it. Um, this is, again, the coordinations um, ran through the same die cut and embossing folder. I mean, ran through the same embossing folder that I ran the background through. And I'm just going to hit it, but I also want to... I just like getting the edges extra little, so I'm just going to spend a little extra time and, and do that. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to give a little dimension. So I... Where are my dots? Okay, so I'm just going to use a foam dot in the back, or two, or four. Okay. Now it's added on to the center. So now for my focal pieces, I've got a couple of um, Graphic 45 chipboards. And you'll notice when you pop open your chipboard that you always have these, I don't know what they're, I don't know what the technical term for them is, but I call them nubbins. There's little nubbins on the end where the cardstock, where the chipboard was attached to, you know, the die cut. So I just take my coordinations block and I'm just going to go ahead and sand those off. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and um, ink the edges up a bit of my chipboard. Oops, I missed an oven right there. Sometimes those little nubbins pop up on you after you think you've killed them. Okay. Okay, so now as you can see, I have two holes for trim, and trim can be really tricky on a card, um, especially if you tie it in a knot, it gets kind of bulky and big. So one of my um, next tips is I have some wide tool, and I like to just scrunch it together and give it a little snip. And then that makes a really small, fine, um, ribbon or trim. That you can go ahead and tie. And then instead of cutting it, I'll just kind of scrunch it down. Awesome. I'm going to do the same with the next one. Okay, so now I'm ready to add my last couple pieces. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just put a couple um, foam squares on the back. And before I put on my foam square, I'm going to go ahead and just hit this again a little. Make sure I got all the dust off to make sure that this focal piece sticks. Did I get that? I think it might be a little crooked. There we go. And the dream, I'm just going to stick directly on, and I'm going to use my Mega Runner here to attach that. All right, and there you go. Exact same sketch, two drastically different cards using coordinations, Xyron, and a little bit of Graphic 45. So I hope you'll um, take a shot at making your project like this and getting out your die cuts and your coordinations and having fun with your sanding block. Thanks for joining me today.